Hello lads, this is BB3K and welcome to episode 3 of the Only Ones Inform. Basically this is going to be a trading episode, so firstly we just go into a trade pile and just see some uh, players picked up. I picked up a Nyang for 1,500 coins which is fairly good, I could probably sell for about 2,500. A Ferdinand for 1,100, probably sell for about 1,500. A Bertrand for 1,500, probably sell for about 3,000. Rose for 1,400, probably sell for about uh, 2,900 that sort of region. And a Verdi for 700, could probably sell for 1,500. So here you just see me putting them up for three hours just uh, over the general from about five o'clock to eight o'clock. That's when most players sell for quite a good price. So uh, I did spend quite a lot of time getting these players because they're, it's actual ridiculous. I'm not a very good trader. Um, I don't pick up fantastic deals, just kind of small deals like that, just a 500 to 1,000 coin profit. But if you do get five to six players, and that is about five thousand coins, which is not actually so bad. Um, I've got a few techniques, but just while I'm putting these players up, um, I'm gonna be doing wager matches because I do have a, a decent squad for wager matches. So if you're looking for, to play a wager match against me, then please uh, leave a comment in the comment section or even inbox me and just arrange a wager match. It won't be like a five thousand, ten thousand coin wager match. Just because I don't have that much many coins at the moment. So all the players that did sell, I do I'll get eight thousand coins back just for the price I did put them up for. I had to I had to lower rose a little, so I won't be using rose again for trading. I think I uh, sold them for about one thousand six hundred or one thousand seven hundred. I'm sure it will come up there now. Just uh, one thousand six hundred or one thousand nine hundred I sold them for. Sorry. So he did go for his original price and Verde went for 1,400 so I just doubled the money on him. Also have a Bertrand just there, that was just a wee bit of trading that I forgot to capture that so I just thought I'd trade him and he did end up selling for 2,800. So I did go and I did buy a Butner for 7,800 coins which I can sell on for about 9,300, 9,200 and a 432 information which is a good formation which is a good bit of profit, it's just a, about a 2,000 coin. Or uh, 1,500 coins, something with that profit, and he did sell. I just put him up overnight, and he did sell, which is fantastic. Uh, we just go back here, and you do see him sell. I do have 12,000 coins at the top, and the next bit of trading you'll see is just a. Uh, I done it in FIFA 12, and it worked very, very well. So I just thought I'd try it out, see if it worked, and I did just go out and just bought a lot of silver players for 2,500 coins, they can discard, you can discard them just basically because they are rare silvers, you can discard them for about 2,240 uh, coins, just buying for 250 coins, and just basically list them up for about 400 coins, apart, uh, just, and just take a look at them, just, just to see like, their average price, you'll see the man at the end here is uh, Hugo Veria. Uh, he does go for about a thousand coins, so I did manage to pick him up for two hundred fifty coins. It's a fantastic profit, uh, just about seven hundred coin, which is not too bad. Only nine of them sold out of fourteen. Uh, you just see the prices now. I did sell just quite a lot of them. Some of them were three hundred coins, some of them were four hundred coins, and some of them were like nine hundred to eight hundred coins, which is fantastic. Anyway, so the ones that I did sell for nine hundred eight hundred coin are still making a bit of profit compared to the ones I had to discard. But I didn't lose any money from discarding them, which is fantastic. And you just see me with an Arbert Tran just in the trade pile. Uh, he's a fantastic player to trade with actually because both these cards is is uh, an upgraded which is a non rare and his upgraded which is a rare. Both go for well his non rare goes for about um two thousand coins and you can easily pick up for five hundred to a thousand coins. So that's an easy bit of profit. And the rare you can pick up for about two thousand five hundred coins and or 2,000 coins and sell him for about 3,000 coins which is also again very very good so he's a good player to trade with if you're looking to trade the players so that is the episode is coming to a close now that is all the trading I got done uh, I did manage to sell Bertrand on which went for about 13,000 so please like if you like and subscribe for watching more speed if you can thank you very much for